I built this kingdom up from nothing. Well, the king said I was daft to build a castle on a swamp, but I built it all the same, just to show them. It sank into the swamp, so I built a second one. That sank into the swamp. So I built a third one. That burned down, fell over, then sank into the swamp. But the fourth one stayed up. This ugly piece of cloth is just for protection. I don't want to cut the strings yet. Now, so this is the the third version of the headless bridge. You can see that this is the hip shot knockoff bridge, but this is not the tremolo but the fixed bridge version because that was not available i bought it from the aliexpress and uh, i really love this design because this is very simple you don't need so much hex keys to adjust the intonation and the height or the action of the saddles very simple this is the best design i have ever met the material is probably brace it's heavy and the sound improved a lot. I have a brace block as well in the body. And this is a traditional six horns fender plate. But I molded, of course, I had to bend back the back side of the plate so now it's in one level and I could put the hip shot knockoff headless bridge on it. The three holes were not exactly the same so I had to drill through both the hip shots three holes and the fender plates three holes but just a tiny bit. I also changed the tremolo arm. This is a Clicking, clicking on, it's also from AliExpress. You can see that I also had to redrill, widen this hole because the original tremolo hole was too close to the bridge. And now I have enough space to insert the tremolo arm. Yeah, so that's a clicking arm. The sound compared to the previous two bridges is very very good actually in itself it sounds very good the previous two bridges were made of pop metal but this is brace everything is brace I think the saddles are stainless steel this is the the neck pickup these are Tokai Arnico pickups I think they are not so hot I'm planning to change them. The guitar goes straight into this Roland Street Cube. This is a two watt, really two watt sound. No any effect, nothing on the equalizers. Bass, middle, are 12 o'clock, but the treble is on max. Let's try. Now let's tune it up. This bridge has a Another advantage, usually on the headless bridges you have no space to click on this kind of tuners, but on this bridge it's easy. Tuning is very easy, even I haven't lubricated these screws, but tuning is very easy. Like pick up. Ironically, this bridge holds the tune very, very steadily. 
I have only five screws in that because actually I lost one of the six screws but makes no sense. I try to follow Scott Henderson's suggestions so uh, the, the holes are just a tiny bit bigger and uh, you hardly can see but the screws are out of the body at least five or six millimeters and uh, this is a kind of floating setting so the bridge and it holds the tune I have to take the guitar to refret because a, an old friend of mine refretted that but that's not the best fret job not really leveled and the, the frets material is not the best so that's strings are crappy these are very weak and uh, low sounding Chinese strings I will change them but first just to experiment I put these strings on middle pickup You can hear it choke sound. It, it's a fretting issue. But now I send the guitar to Saigon. I have a dude there and he did an excellent job on my other strap. Now there's something. told that if it goes out of tune you just you just pull the arm back and it goes back so the frictions 
release 